Um, hey everyone, I'm Ale, and uh, just wanted to apologize for the tardiness of this video. I know I said I would do it a while ago, and I haven't. Um, if you're not sure what video this is, this is the Lightning Relic video, where I kind of explain a little bit of things about the, sk uh, the skill, and talk about it, show you how it's used, and um, yeah, sorry about that. So, let's start off with something very simple, um, which is the ability to use it for defensive purposes. Now he's going to use a fireball, and um, if you're going to see, those relics are going to protect me from that fireball. And that's one of the defensive traits of a uh, lightning relic that is really great. Now, the second trait I'm going to look at is the ability for it to pull aggro. Now, it's not very good to show on this particular boss, because this particular boss doesn't have many aggro resets. But if you look, the boss is going to attack those lightning relics. So I'm just kind of waiting for him to do it. Boom, there he does it. Now, this is really good because it gives you some time on occasions when uh, aggro resets to kind of get in there and do a little bit of extra damage. And extra damage is never a bad thing. So always keep that in mind. Using Lightning Relic, keeping it down frequently with the boss, it, it can show you when aggro resets are, first and foremost. And secondly, it can actually grab aggro in the very early parts of um, the, the aggro reset. And that could give you an opportunity to really continue attacking. Um, Another thing I kind of want to talk about is its ability to electrocute. Now, I am going to admit that Lightning Bolt, or sorry, not Lightning Bolt, uh, Lightning Relic doesn't have a particularly amazing ability for this, but it can electrocute enemies. It's pro probably a little bit, between a 3 and 5% chance. Um, and it's very good for, you know, if you cannot actually be up in the enemy's face, or you can't be using your skills like Chain Lightning or Lightning Bolt. Um, very good for that electrocution. Unfortunately, it doesn't stack with Chain Lightning and um, Lightning Bolt, so, you know, you kind of have to be looking out for that, but it does stack with Mind Snapper. So, if you're continuously attacking, um, another really good uh, way of using Lightning Bolt is to continue on your attacking. Um, I'm going to kind of explain why. Uh, in this situation, it's not going to be good to use any other skill. Detonates on cooldown, you have Grand Cross there, if you, if you were paying attention. And um, the thing is, Grand Cross takes a little bit of time to cast. So you end up with the situation where you don't quite have enough skills to continue attacking, and you want a filler skill, and you can use Lightning Relic for that reason. Um, it's very good because it, it keeps it can take aggro if the uh, if the boss aggro resets and it can also give the chance to electrocute if you're not able to get in and really do any attacking. Um, I think that's really all that there is to lightning bolt at this time that I really want to certain lightning bolt lightning relic that I really want to cover. Um, however, um, if there's anything that you found that I kind of left out or something that I could have added, something that you saw that is incorrect, just let me know, pop me a comment, just send me a message and I'll make it addition to, or if you feel you can do better, you feel like making a movie, go ahead, do it. So, thank you all for watching and I hope this helps. Later.